Hello everybody and welcome to the first in our series of tutorials and quick tips to help you get a job, help you keep a job, and anything else in between. My name is Jordan and I'm with Capabilities Incorporated. Today we're going to be looking at setting up an email account. Many of you probably already have email accounts or maybe you've always wanted one and just didn't quite know how to do it. So today we're going to use Gmail to set up a free email account. Gmail is a service provided by Google and it links in with Google's many other services. So to start with, let's open up a web browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. Now that you have Internet Explorer opened up, go ahead and click in the address bar and type in www.gmail.com. This will take you to Gmail's home page. Notice at the bottom there's a create an account button. Click on that. This will take you to the new account sign up form. There will be a series of quick questions for you to answer and you'll be set up with the account. It's that easy. Click on the first box where it says first name and type in your name. Throughout this exercise you can either click through each box to get from one to the other or just click the tab button on your keyboard. After you enter your next name, the next box is a desired logon name. And this will actually be your email address. So you, you can type in whatever you want, then click in the button to check availability. A quick pro tip, try to use your name or a variation of your name to be more professional and easier for the employees employers to remember you. I'm using Jordan Passmore Capabilities and I'll hit check availability and it says Jordan Passmore Capabilities is available. Now if you were to type in something like John Smith and check availability it says John Smith is not available but the following usernames are and then they give you a few samples or a few examples of what you can use instead. Going to put Jordan Passmore Capabilities back in there then it'll let you choose a password. Try to choose a password that you think nobody would know, and a lot of times they suggest to use a combination of letters and numbers to make your password strength stronger. This checkbox will allow you to sign right into Gmail every time you go to it. Enable web history, we're not going to talk about that now, we may get into that in a later tutorial. This will set Google as your default home page. We don't need to do that. And then here's some security questions. Now if you forget your email address or you, if you forget your password, they're going to ask you one of these security questions to make sure it's you. I'm just going to choose the first one. What is the name of your best friend from childhood? I'm going to put John. This next box is if you already have an email address and you would like to set it up for receiving information from Google or recovery passwords you can set it up there but you can also leave that blank. Here you can type in your birthday and then under here this is just to prove that you are not a machine believe it or not people are out there that want to spam you so Google has a little security feature just type in as close as you can what you see in this box for those with low vision, there is a little button you can click on for them to read off the word that you need to type in for verification. And there's a terms of service agreement. Just read through that. It just tells you what you can and can't do with the Google email account and click I accept. And here we go. It says congratulations, we're now signed up for Gmail. Click show me my account. and it takes you to your own email address at Gmail. There are three emails included automatically just a little bit of information from Google. You have your inbox here and you have a sent mail that shows you anything you've sent. It automatically gets connected there. And in the next tutorial we're going to show you how to use the Gmail that you just signed up for. So stay tuned until then. Thanks a lot.